the drought is over, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? Ada Chonk here. Back with another video. We're reacting to the Kings taking on the Portland Trailblazers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Leave a comment, like as well. Good shot from the mid range. And the Blazers have a bunch of their bench guys playing because most of the uh, rotational players are not since they're out of the playoff hunt. They, I think they're not technically out yet, but they're not making the playoffs. Uh, they know it. We know it. So Kevin Herter off the glass and the Kings have ended the drought. Now, either with a win here or I believe a loss for the Timberwolves, they would have clinched. I think. I might be wrong. But I believe that was the case. So the Air Fox pass to Keegan Murray. It's the three-pointer. He is very close to the rookie three-point record in the NBA history. But Donovan Mitchell owns the record right now. But if Keegan hits him within the rest of the season, he could get it. He's very he's like four away, close to that. The Air Fox. What are you doing? And I understand, you know, shouldn't have high expectations for these players. These are NBA players. Why are you leaving them wide open? The pass, Kevin Herter. That's buckets, bro. Good defense, but he's diable. Oh, he's really pickpocketing them. Alley oop. There you go. Portland Trailblazers fans. I mean, hey. A win doesn't hurt either, man. You're going to miss the playoffs. Pick's a pick, so. You're not going to get a number one pick, so. At least try to do something, maybe. You know, Sabonis got the rebound. Malik Monk inside. Back to Sabonis. Good look. I'm a big Malik Monk supporter. Really solid world player, man. For the Lakers last year, he was phenomenal. You know, it's really disappointing they didn't bring him back. If they had him this year, man, it would have really helped him at times. Oh, oh wow. He's sharp. The potential that man has is insane. Here we go. Kevin Knox inside. That's the name you'd be thinking uh, you'd hear playing uh, good NBA minutes. Malik step back three. A lot of Kings fans in the arena. As the Kings, you know, I went to, I'm not a Kings fan. I don't hate them either. Uh, King of Mary throw him down. I'm not gonna lie, earlier in the season, I was just calling them the Queens because I hated the idea of the Kings. But I've watched a lot of their games. I've seen how the season's been going. I'm not calling myself a fan or bandwagon or anything. But they're a fun team to watch. Very insp inspiring story. A lot of these players. A lot of people don't talk shit about. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I used to be a biggest uh, smallest hater in the world, and uh, he's really proved me wrong. Uh, he's been playing at an elite level for years. Really picked up his game in all aspects. Defensively, he's pretty good. Offensively, he's phenomenal. He's a uh, budget version of Nikola Jokic. Again, Nikola Jokic is probably one of the most valuable, but better, better players in the league, but. You go like a, a tier or two now, so bonus is that version of him, man. And he plays really good, too. Now, obviously, he's not the exact clone, but, you know, still. Inside the Cedar Little, Darren Fox uh, having an all-star, all-NBA caliber season. He might make all-NBA legit. I think it depends on if the voters want to give it to a player like Steph, who's having an incredible year, too, but he's missed a lot of time. Samantha Sabonis takes it inside. I mean, I know the Warriors' road record is terrible, but Steph Curry has been the bright spot for the Warriors this season. And the fact that they can they don't lose the home too often. Kevin Herter, three-pointer. Shane Sharp is 11 points. I mean, he's, damn, he is chucking. Three-pointer, Keegan Murray. Good shot. I, I, I missed the call. My attention span sometimes is really bad, so my bad. Oh, wow. Shane Sharp, I mean, with the amount of shots he's talking, I'm not shocked that someone's jumping, with all due respect. I mean, he is probably the better player on the court right now for the Blazers. Thank the three. I'd like to see him maybe take a little bit more time with each shot, but Keegan Murray. Ooh. Big shot, man. T. Stiebel. Three pointer. Wow. Who is that guy? Inside. Here we go, Davion Mitchell. Oh! Made the man touch the earth. Keegan. No, it's not Keegan. It's uh, Kessler Edwards. Monsieur Little taking it to Thibel. Good pass. Shane Sharp in. Side gets it to go. Good shot. Here we go. Sharp ISO. 
Good pass. Inside. It's good. Drew Eubanks. Where the f I have not seen this man play. Uh, Leek Wonk. Good shot, man. That's a great look for him. Malik Monk for the Aaron Fox. Young guys, great shape. Three points. Uh, mid, mid range is good. It's been a long night with the reaction. The Kings are fucking uh, sweeping the floor with the uh, Blazers right now. Yeah, this game is uh, over. I really don't know what should we tell you. So Lyles, he's here. You know, wow, this is a. Uh, this is a big ass one. Inside Malik Monk wrote first. Layup is good. I think you guys will be okay if I start reading some of the stat sheet because this game is beyond over. Trust me. No comeback is happening. So the Kings, you know, win that helped them clinch the playoffs. Malik Monk led the team to score with 19 points. Fox with 18. Herder at 17. Bonus with 15. King and Murray had 13. And uh, great game from them tonight for the Portland Trailblazers as Monk hits another three. Shane Sharp at 30, 7 and 7, 10 of 27. He'll play 44 fucking minutes. I don't give a fuck. You're, are you playing the rest of your players? 44 minutes for him is absurd. That's a lot. But uh, they only played seven guys tonight. Uh, Kevin Knox at 12, Walker at 12. This team is just not talented enough to win. With seven guys, so that is the game. Uh, we'll watch the last couple minutes here. Sharp hits another three. Ooh. I mean, half the Blazer fans left. I don't blame them. There's someone leaving now. I wouldn't blame me either. He got Shane Sharp's the best player here, but I wouldn't say it's an amazing thing because he's a gas and you know this game ridiculous. George Carl, light the beam, chance. It's Sacramento. I don't want to see the reaction of the buzzer. It's official. The Kings are in the playoffs. For the first time since 2004. No. I think like 2008. Definitely 2008. That's all I got for you guys today, though. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Never give up. As John Cena says, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.